Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is another church audit and here we have St George's Church nestled in Kidderminster and I'm just going to do a quick uh, pan round with the camera so you can see exactly the 360 um, vision and then we're going to walk up into the grounds of the uh, church and through the graveyard um, on the path that you can see before us but as I'm panning around you can see where it's nestled in you can probably hear the cars in the background and just to specify as always um, obviously this YouTube channel does not promote or endorse any particular church or denomination but it's just giving you a flavour of some of the places of worship that are available in and around the United Kingdom. So you can see it's on a very, very busy road. There's a busy roundabout leading into the area of Kidderminster. And this is St George's Church with the graveyard there. And it, I believe it's an Anglican church and lovely, spectacular architecture. And now we're gonna do a quick walk up. Um, this would be the main entrance. And we're gonna do a quick walk around the building and just see uh, what we can see. So we've seen the um, architecture there, some of the arched windows and the um, stone masonry. And of course, Kidderminster is very famous for um, an important person of note, Richard Baxter in particular in church history. And we'll obviously be looking at some of those things there. But as always, we'll put in this um, YouTube video, the uh, website links so you can actually see exactly what this church uh, does in the week and what it offers for the community that it serves. And there's some lovely doors, again some lovely stone masonry and lovely arched windows. And then just around there, the perimeter of it is uh, lined with trees and a bank and uh, a stone wall. I'm going to walk up towards the main road, so I apologise for the traffic. And then I'm just going to span back round at the church so you can see um, the majestic nature of the building, if I can use that word. But uh, you can see the brilliance of the building. And actually, I found another little path that then I'm then going to follow as well. So, if we pan round now, there it is, on the side of the building, and again to that tower and turret where we've just walked from is that path, and I'm now going to go down the other side of the building along the little path, and again you can see the graveyard is uh, well maintained really, and uh, lots of um, old looking headstones, so again, always fascinating places to go around and see just who and people of notes that are actually buried here so this looks like this would almost be the back of the church um, certainly the back regarding the front entrance of the church where we've walked up today and again you can see um, the age of the church of course will be in the description and on the website but there you can see some uh, much more recent editions of uh, graffiti and uh, vandalism on the church wall. Bars that obviously are on the outside, so uh, to keep people out. <laughs> um, and then we come round and you can see lovely bit of uh, stonework. And I'm assuming that might be, um, not that I'm an expert in stonework, have removed some uh, climbers up there that would have been eaten into stonework. I guess probably a sandstone type uh, bit of work. You can see if I zoom in there, that's the type of brick. I won't touch that, but that's obviously open to the elements. And a bit of gardening done there. And then I'll just pan round to the right of the church. There's a church hall, which of course then is nestled in to serve the community, along with other areas. And there you can see a more recent use of the graveyard shipping container and all the residential area that it's nestled in i'm going to leave this video there but feel free to comment to like and to share this video so we can pray for this church and its community and uh, we can obviously put it on the map for all the activities it does in the week and promote people to come visit and even see inside so god bless you all amen